Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters appeared in court today to appeal a warrant for her arrest following an unauthorized trip to Las Vegas. Our Dylan Malfatti was in the courtroom this afternoon and has the details. Justice Matt Barrett was clearly unhappy at today's hearing as Peters and her attorneys attempted to explain how she might have unknowingly violated her bond agreement to speak at a law enforcement convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. The judge ordered Peters to appear in court today with her attorneys to avoid arrest. When they showed up, Peters and her team of attorneys attempted to quash the June 14th arrest warrant. The DA issued the warrant after Peters traveled to Las Vegas to speak at a law enforcement convention, a trip that was in direct violation of her bond agreement. In his original objection to notice of travel document, District Attorney Dan Rubenstein noted Peters had the means to flee, but later told KREX he would not object to quashing the warrant if Peters appeared in court, which she did. Thursday, July 14th, Peters' attorneys filed a motion to quash the warrant, his main argument being one, that Peters did not know she would violate her bond by leaving the state July 12th, and two, Peters complied with her previous bond arrangement, and her violation falls on her lawyer for not informing her. Peters' attorney, Harvey Steinberg, told the judge in court another problem was her attorneys, quote, had too many cooks in the kitchen. Allegedly, Peters did not become aware of her travel prohibition until July 13th, after she had already traveled to Nevada July 11th to speak at a Constitutional Sheriff's and Peace Officers Association event on July 12th that was later broadcast on the Mike Lindell Network. In the warrant, prosecutors ordered Peters' entire counsel to appear, but not all of them did, which Steinberg stated was because they had prior arrangements. Originally, the defense stated Peters flew to Las Vegas the night of the 12th on a private plane. District Attorney Dan Rubenstein pointed out that that was not possible because Peters was speaking at the convention the night of the 12th. The defense then changed their story, stating Peters was supposed to leave the morning of the 12th, but ended up leaving on a private plane the night of the 11th instead. The DA did not object to the motion to quash, and ultimately the judge ruled. Peters' warrant was quashed, and she could only travel in the future if she files a motion with the court, a process that could take up to five days. Peter's next hearing is scheduled for August 5th. Reporting first on the Western Slope, I'm Dylan Malfatti, KREX 5 News. Now